Hello, I'm Harold. I always want to say that since I watch Double Boost say it all the time. But uh, anyway, I've been looking at a lot of hydraulic presses on uh, on YouTube. People have built one and another, and, and I've looked at the uh, Harbor Freight hydraulic presses, and they look to me like they're a little bit short of desirable. And uh, so I thought, well, I'd show you the uh, hydraulic presses that I was making and selling back in the 70s, which may be uh, before some people's time. And uh, I think mine are probably a lot better designed. Let's turn around here where we can see the press. Now this, I don't have much room to maneuver here. This is my prototype, which I kept for me. And uh, it's built sort of after uh, the same style as an OTC, which is uh, a very good brand of hydraulic press as far as I'm concerned. I've got uh, upside down jack there. I'll turn it over so you can see it says Omni Jack. Okay. And uh, I, this is for adjusting my wristwatch. Uh, this thing is designed just like uh, the OTC presses, except where they have a, a dedicated special hydraulic cylinder and, and a pump out here on the side with a handle. And uh, this press can handle easily 20 tons, 25 tons, but I put a 12 ton jack on it. Is I don't envision most jobs ever requiring more than 12 tons. This crank with the uh, cable here for lifting the tables and recent afterthought. Uh, when I built this, I was young and picking up that 50 pound table with one hand and putting the pins in with the other. Wasn't any big deal, you know? But now that I'm old and decrepit, well, I thought it'd be nice to have a crank to, to lift that table up and down for me. You'll notice it's on wheels. Uh, Everything I got is on wheels. Lathe is on wheels. Uh, I don't know if Arduino versus Evil thought I was kidding him or not, but mine, my lathe is on wheels just like his. The Harbor Freight jobs are built with a, a jack standing on a, a piece of channel iron that looks kind of unstable with a little rod sticking down. And the jack sits up straight and the whole thing looks to me kind of unstable and flimsy. Whereas this guy here, he, he's got an adjustable screw here to make the little fine tuning spots. All you got to do is just crank him up and he starts, starts pressing your stuff together. You can even do it by hand, although I tend to use the, the jack handle that came with it. Uh, these springs will pull the cylinder back up. And this particular jack, this Omni jack, is a really good jack. It's designed to work in any position, which is obviously you can see it's working upside down. The pump's in the bottom, which is of course on the top here, but it has a little hose that comes from the pump and with the weight on it, it, it keeps the hose in the oil so it never loses suction. That's something that uh, you don't find on very many jacks. This is a, a new jack. I built this press oh, in the early 70s. So it's pretty old and the original jack finally wouldn't uh, wouldn't move anything anymore. And it's uh, it's right here. This one was a uh, Japanese jack, because that's cheap Japanese stuff is what we had before we had cheap Chinese. And the way that I made it work was by having a reservoir full of oil that was set up higher than the jack. And then I would bleed all the air out of the jack if that screw were making that screw the high point and then mount it upside down on that press and it worked really great. The neat thing about the Omni jack is you don't even have to to do anything to it other than I removed the screw and turned off the bottom of it, faced it off nice and flat and put it back in there. Uh, you get a lot of misinformation about how hydraulic jacks are built, but they're basically built with a hydraulic cylinder fastened to the bottom piece that sticks up, and then they have a hollow shell 
it slides down over it and a big nut to tighten it down. So this is the outside part between the hydraulic cylinder and here this is just a storage space for oil. It's not pressurized or in any way has anything special done to it. It's just there to store oil. I, I noticed I've seen on the web a couple of times people said there was a pressurized cylinder there and that's not so at all. The oil just pours in there and it's atmospheric pressure unless it comes out to be even less sometime. Uh, sorry about that. Knocked my tripod over on the wife's car which I'm not going to tell her about. Um, anyway, I wanted to show a better design for a hydraulic press than, uh, than the Harbor Freight type or the standard jack up straight type. As you can see it's nicely braced large bolts hold it together and I've tested it to 25 tons so I know I know it'll hold together plus I had the assistance of uh, of a nice book that tells me about the structural strength of metals these sides are 3 8 by 2 inch the cross pieces are half inch by 6 inch and of course the, the angle on the feet doesn't matter what it is these are 5 8 pins. I made it so you could use four of them, but I never needed but two. And I don't know what I did with the other two pins. Press blocks that'll do whatever you want. These got holes for special uses I had. And I may later on modify this piece right here to put some wheels on it so I can roll this thing back and forth. That's uh that's one improvement that I could make so, because maybe sometime I might want the, the jack all the way to one side or the other in case something doesn't fit in the middle. But I can put some really long stuff in here because you, as you see I've got holes all the way to the ground for adjustment. And this, this works and I, I really think it's a better design than the uh, standard up straight harbor freight type. Of course now if you want to build this thing just the jack and the, and the steel and everything is going to cost you more than the Harbor Freight hydraulic press. You Then you've still got to build the thing yourself. Of course the good thing is once you've got it built you've got five times better press. Now I guess that's probably about all you want to hear about my hydraulic press. Thank you for watching.